Vlog seven. Really? Vlog seven. Is this how our week starts on a Monday? Is this how is, is this how this week's gonna go? Guys, sometimes you get obstacles in front of you. And there's definitely no shortcut to a championship. But there's detours. It's because this lane's closed. It's because the, the road shut down. We're not shut down. We're still making it happen. Go we'll find a way to get through. But it definitely starts off your Monday with a little bit of a damper. Vlog seven, you guys ready? You with us? This will be a great one. Join us. We're rolling. Come on. Come on, D. What's up, people? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for following us today. Got a busy day. Got a good vlog for you. Got a second showing on one of our listings on the water. As you can see, water's pretty high. We had a lot of flooding in the area. I mean, it was crazy, crazy weekend. So I hope you guys are off to the start to a brand new week. Can't bring you in. Got a second showing, but I'm gonna have to leave you here. But hang on, won't be here for a minute. Do the second showing, and we've got a busy day. Thank you guys for staying tuned. It's gonna be a great vlog. Hope you enjoy it. See ya! So we just got done showing Captain's Way. Really good showing, about an hour there. Great people, great buyers. They have a lot of interest. I think it's in the top two. So we'll know more this weekend. He's gonna make a quick decision. So a couple weeks on the market, already had three showings and a second showing. That's pretty impressive. So marketing's working. So we'll cross our fingers for our sellers that this showing went well and that they put a contract in. So we've got a busy day. You're gonna ride with me. We'll go to another appointment and do some more work. I think you're gonna like this vlog. Hey, when I was a kid, I played high school basketball, played sports. I really had this great coach. I actually wasn't a coach, let me rephrase that. You ever heard know how your competition fuels you? Well, this was my junior varsity coach. And it's, he said something that stuck with me my whole life. So I didn't make the cut. Yeah. Didn't get cut. I chose somebody else. And uh, so I had to go back and, and redo the process. But one thing he did was in practice, in games, he would say, Hey, Coleman, there's no shortcut to a championship. There's no shortcut to a championship. Hey, Bob, I got gotcha. you. There's no shortcut to a championship. And you're going to see we put the work in. So come on. Let's go. Probably most important to them is they're talking about the stairway. And they wanted to redesign that stairway and then maybe open up in the back, in the patio, uh -huh. looking out. Um, I think he was given the vision for that and showing what they were looking for. So um, I think that would be the only issue. The rest of the house, they loved it. So we were talking outside about no shortcut to a championship. So I was thinking about that. You got March Madness coming up. Tennessee just lost, real crushing loss by just a uh, couple seconds and bad call on the foul. But you really think about it in life in business, anything that you do, that shortcut to a championship may always and probably always will leave you coming up short and probably get you the L. Whether you're in sales like me, whether you're in business, if you're always putting in minimum effort, if you're, you're just willing to kind of get by, and that's, that's what happens in our industry. So many people are just willing to get by. And uh, in life, I mean, everybody's, I get complacent, I promise you, just like everybody else. But it's that, that push to move forward so you don't get complacent because it's the shortcuts. It's the phone calls that you don't make those opportunities. It's, we went to a flood, I mean, we got flooded. This whole area got flooded. We spent three hours in the car trying to get to this showing. We were able to make it work and had to get it rescheduled today, but we never quit. And I think guys in life and in business, you can never quit and you can't take shortcuts because it's the shortcuts. It's usually not one, right? You make that call or you forget to put, you know, the pictures in properly. You don't take the time on that description. What happens? 
it's death by a thousand cuts, right? It's usually not the one thing in business that makes you fail. It's 10 different things that add to 20 things. And before you know it, you go, what in the world just happened? And those things are the shortcut to a championship. So we don't make any shortcuts around here. I don't want my old coach, Rudy, we called him Rudy, that I don't want a shortcut to a championship. Although year that year I got cut, the next year I used it to motivate me. And we made, we made the high school varsity team, we started, and it was a great couple years. But I think the difference would be sometimes you gotta get defeat. Sometimes you, you, know, you come up short and it's okay. You just can't quit. So there's my rant of the day. Let's get going. We've got another appointment to go to. I'll show you some of this flooding, man. This is crazy out here. In the last 50, 60 years, people said they've never seen anything like it in the flooding. So hopefully we never see it. So come with me and show you what I'm doing. All right, guys. So you've seen all the water that we've got. It's just absolutely crazy. It's been that type of weekend. Started off our Monday with roads blocked, but that's just kind of what we talk about in life. So we're at our renovation property. Had to come by here and check on that. Spent all weekend. We had water in our basement, like half of Knoxville was flooded. I mean, just a lot of water out, a lot of extra work. And then we get into these opportunities. We're talking about business and it's just easy to put a Band-Aid on it, right? So many people get in the business of flipping homes, right? You're flipping homes and it's just put a Band-Aid. And that's the challenge in our business is that you just kind of want to put a Band-Aid on it, do it just enough to get by. And that's what we talk about in business. You can't just do enough to get by because what happens eventually, it's going to come back on you. You know, you can come in here, we can do this property, and now we need to spend thousands of more dollars. We need to add a French drain. Things that should have been done a long time ago. The new owners should have done it. But opportunity like this with rain and things that comes on, at least we have an opportunity. The floor wasn't down and we can correct everything. But if you're that other guy that's just kind of a shortcut to a championship and they're like, I ah, just slap it down, no worry, put the mulch over it. See, those things maybe doesn't catch you now, but it catches you down the road. And so we're firm believers, if you gotta do something, do it right the first time, man. Put the effort in. It's unfortunate, it costs money, but you know what happens? Down the road, you're not gonna get all these callbacks. And peace of mind, man, you go, you go to sleep, go to sleep at night like a baby and understand that you did it right. And that's what happens when he, that old coach, Rudy, hey Rudy, I, I still keep hearing you, man. Rudy was calling, he's like, there's no shortcut to a championship. So when we do something or we're involved, my staff, hey, there's just no shortcut to a championship. That's the one thing I got from Rudy. And that's the opportunity here. And it's just doing it and making sure that we don't, you know, just throw some gravel over it, just throw some mulch over and call it a day. Because even if it doesn't come back to bite you, you know who's gonna know it? You, man, it's inside you. So if you do things right, you're always doing things right, you do your business right, you're gonna sleep good and be great. So we're gonna leave here, went downstairs, checked in all the fans. We're gonna run some other places, but uh, do it right, man. You invest in real estate, business, calls, do it right the first time. It prevents a lot of headache and opportunities. Balls make it look easy. It's not easy there, 15 feet. It's like in life, man. We were talking about no shortcuts to a championship. Really an opportunity. You gotta put the work in. Basketball, sports, life. You gotta put the work in. You gotta make the phone calls. Because when you get your opportunity in the game, sometimes you only get one shot. You get one shot to make a difference. So if you haven't put that work in, you're always shortcutting like old coach Rudy says. No shortcut to a championship. We know here it's a lot of work. Basketball time, March Madness coming soon. It's an opportunity to understand that if we're not putting the work in, you can get out here. Don't laugh, guys. It's been a while. But if you get out here and you have an opportunity and get your shots in, you can make them. Now, that being said, that being, that being said, every shot that you take, you're not always gonna make. Every shot you take, Well, luckily for me, I made two in a row. But not every shot, not every shot you're going to make. 
And every shot you take, you're gonna make. But it's not the shots that you miss that keeps going. It's that it's relentless, man. Never stopping, never stop pushing. Because how many times did MJ say? 9,000 shots, 90,000, I can't remember the exact number that he's taken over his life in his games. But when he got to that point, had an opportunity, it was the no shortcut to a championship. It's all those hours in the gym, man. All those hours in the gym that he put the work in. You guys in business, flipping, renovating, anything that you do, all that work you put in pays difference. Because it, when the game's on the line, you want the ball, right? I know I want the ball. And so if you're not willing to put that work in, and if you're always shortcutting, you're not only shortcutting yourself, but you're shortcutting your clients, you're shortcutting the future, man. So I hope you enjoyed our vlog today. There's no shortcut to a championship. Our friend, Coach Rudy, thank you for always pushing me. I think your competition pushes you too. Always know, let's see if we got, still got the last shot. You got the opportunity. You never know how it's gonna end. Remember, it's not the shots that you make. See, you don't make them all. You don't make all your shots. But I'll never stop pushing, never stop shooting. Because you know what? It's that shot you hit. It's that deal you closed. It's that win, man. Life's all about wins, all about opportunities. Hope you enjoyed vlog number seven. Hope you guys have fun. Thanks for following us. But we gotta go, as they say, they're about to start games up and we got more work to do. Vlog seven, out. Ooh.